guys, it's Jenny and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about Strong Minds today. It's important to remember that mental health is just as important as physical health, but we want to make sure that every single aspect of us is ready for competition. And that means checking in with yourself to make sure that you're feeling all right and ready to compete. I'm so excited to hear from Amanda, one of our health and fitness coordinators, who has some great advice on things we can do to make sure that our mental health stays strong during this time. Hi, my name is Amanda Swayze. I'm a global messenger and a health and fitness coordinator for the Thumb of a Snyder Special Olympics. I want to talk to you about how to have a mighty mind, do your exercises, eat a good diet, and drink a lot of water and have a mighty body. Do you know all those things also help, also help you have a mighty mind? You can keep your mind as healthy as a hot, as your body by keeping a routine, scheduled time to exercise, try to limit the time you spend watching TV or playing on a video game or the computer or tablet or video games. Get outside every day Fresh air clears cobwebs in your brain and sunshine. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and make you feel good. <laughs> and don't let your rainy, <laughs> rainy, rainy cold days stop you from going outside and dress for the weather and head outside. Get plenty of sleep every night. Take a nap if you need to, to refresh. Make sure you that you take time to visit with the people you know. There are many ways to keep in touch you can call or on the telephone text people and and who doesn't like to get a card in the mail i have learned how to use zoom and participate in visits meetings games, and sharing of music through Zoom. You can ask for help to learn how to use Zoom or other cool virtual ways to keep in touch. My favorite way to have a mighty mind is to visit my friends we sit outside safely and I get to pet and play with our friend Snoop Peppy and I laugh a lot at another friend's jokes. Remember you can ask for help if you aren't feeling too miserable or too sad or overwhelmed. So my new friend Snickers and I and I say remember to take care of your mind as well as your body and have a good time at Fall Festival. I think that Amanda had some great advice like staying in a routine, making sure you get outside,
talking to friends, whether that's socially distanced or over Zoom, making sure you exercise, and also eating healthy. Those are all great tips. I also think that her furry friend was a big help, so I went and got mine too. I to close, I just wanted to remind you guys to feel free to reach out to a friend, a family member, a doctor, or a coach if you're feeling overwhelmed with your emotions. I'm sure that they'll be more than happy to talk through the situation with you and get you on the track to feeling better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.